Uh, yes, it is Joanna Warren, J O A N A. W A R R E N. And then you are a sergeant with the. Sergeant at Santa Clarita Sheriff's Station. Can you walk me through the circumstances of uh, what happened? Uh, yes, we received a 911 phone call right around 1.40 this morning. Uh, the informant witness called us at the, they said that at the 2300 block of Yvette Lane, um, they saw what sounded uh, like a catalytic converter thieves. Um, the informant provided really good information, stated that they were in a vehicle, that they heard the grinding noise. They said, we believe they're stealing catalytic converter thefts and they've had that in the area. They called us, provided the information uh, we did have the patrol units that work early morning shift in the area uh, when they gave us the vehicle description, which was a large U-Haul box truck. One of our deputies um, observed it, saw it. Um, they got behind the vehicle, confirmed that it was a suspect vehicle. They waited for partners to, uh, to arrive to make a uh, felony traffic stop, and then here we are. And I noticed that there was something interesting that was found in the vehicle. Uh, what did you see there? Um, so it does look like they have some uh, 
stolen items, some evidence that could have been used in crimes. Uh, one of the interesting things that they um, also found is a Grinch mask. So uh, later on, the deputies with the detectives will work together, see if any of the items found inside match other uh, crimes that have happened in the area, and uh, we'll present it to the DA's office. And for people who, you know, that person that called it in, you know, middle of the night, they heard a noise, they did something about it. What words of encouragement do you have for people who may see something suspicious in their neighborhood? What should they do? Um, uh, obviously, if it's emergent, call 911. We're open 24-7. We're available 24-7. Um, community members, um, even if you don't think it may lead up to a crime, it could be um, pre-crime or they could be, you know, casing the neighborhood for vehicles or for uh, burglaries, for residential burglaries, etc. So even if you don't recognize the car, the person, if it looks suspicious, just give us a call. We'll come out here and we'll check it out. Um, it could turn into something or nothing, um, but at least that way we can identify specific vehicles or people and then later on um, you know if we if we get the same suspects the same vehicles uh, we'll put it together our detective bureau will um, look into that and we appreciate community members giving us a call you know stay safe give us as much information as you can and uh, we'll get out here as soon as possible and final question for you, you know, what do you think about the speed of the deputies I mean the, the fact that they were able to catch that vehicle right there the right place at the right time uh, what does that say about the deputies who uh, you supervise uh, they're they're awesome. They're amazing. You know, we work night shift. Um, they're available. Um, good thing the witness gave us that information, you know, provided us that it was a U-Haul uh, large box truck. So it stood out. Um, but we appreciate that. We appreciate them uh, giving us a call. And then the deputies being proactive out here on patrol. You know, everybody's asleep. We're awake and we're keeping the community safe.